Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So yesterday, the House of Representatives voted to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, which is better known as Obamacare. Now states have the ability to opt out of certain requirements, requirements, for instance, protecting people with pre-existing conditions. Also under this proposed bill, Medicare expansion is going to be phased out, meaning that many people who have low income or elderly people will have their benefits either reduced or even just completely eliminated. And another important provision under this new um, act that was passed by the House of Representatives is, you know, the fact that the individual mandate has been eliminated. And basically that mandate required people to carry health insurance. So according to many reports, millions of people are going to lose their health insurance now. So after the House of Representatives passed this ridiculous bill, congressmen and the president, they were laughing it up. They were celebrating. They were giving each other high fives and practically popping bottles and doing cartwheels. They were celebrating millions of people losing their health insurance. They were celebrating Millions of people no longer being protected who have pre-existing conditions. They were celebrating elderly people having to pay more for health insurance or having their health insurance removed or eliminated. That's what they were celebrating. This is Trump's idea of making America great again. Making America great again by removing millions of people from health care insurance coverage. That's his idea of making America great again. People won't be able to get coverage who have pre-existing conditions because of Trump. And it's very important to note that this is only the first part of the process. You know, it has to go back to the Senate and the Senate is probably gonna make some changes and then it has to go back to the House so people are questioning whether or not this will even become law. But the fact that this man would try to pass this kind of law that is taking away benefits from people, I think that that speaks volumes about him, you know, and everything he represents. You know, this is going to result in tax cuts for the rich and all that kind of stuff. This is his idea of making America great again. But, you know, I'll just say this, you know, I'll conclude by making this point. As many people have pointed out, his celebration is premature because it looks like it's going to be an uphill battle for this law to actually be enacted. Because the Senate, you know, he has to win just about every single vote among the Republicans. He can't lose two votes because if he does, then... He, this won't even pass. It won't become a law. So this celebration is very premature. It's like somebody uh, popping bottles when the game isn't even over. Somebody spiking the football and doing a celebratory dance when the game is nowhere near over. So, you know, I just encourage each and every one of you to contact your senators and urge them to oppose this effort to repeal and replace Obamacare. That's what we have to do. And this is just another example of how important the electoral process is. Who becomes the president matters. Who becomes your representative in Congress matters. Who becomes your, your senator matters. Because they decide crucial things like this. What can be more crucial than somebody's ability to get health care. Health care is important because it sustains life. So that can't be overemphasized enough. And, and I'll just say this, you know, I think Obamacare has its benefits and its drawbacks, obviously. You know, I think that ultimately what we need is a single payer system Healthcare should not be a for-profit industry. Every single citizen 
in the United States should be entitled to free and quality health care. So tell me what y'all think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.